Indol. It's... It's sinking. Never thought I'd see the day when Torna, of all people, would be saving our hides. Mikhail. We can't let his efforts go to waste. You're right. Let's go after Jin. I have to have a word with him about the answer I found. Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Mikhail has got to be the epitome of a character that all adventure long didn't care about. Thought he was pretty one note. He hung around with Petroka a lot, so that kind of cost come him a few on, points in my eyes. But wow. The way he comes together in the end, I have to say, cared about him a lot more after that moment. Certainly did. A round table medal. Restores 5% HP when canceling an auto attack with a driver art. Uh, not as good a healing as other things that we have. This thing. Here we go. I've known people who didn't qualify for this, where they didn't have four levels of electric mastery. I'm dead serious. Some people just really don't like awakening core crystals, and I feel like that's here to prevent that. We got quite a long way up. We gotta find another elevator if we're gonna get any higher. Skywalk. Ugh, I would hate this so much. And really, you can't even see the bottom in here. It's bad enough when you're on the space needle and the floor is glass. I don't like that. Oh, this room. I knew that this room was coming. Wow. Level three, Alioth. Alioth refers to the third star and brightest before. star in the handle of the Big Dipper, another astronomical term. As we get started today, I'm switching Zeke back in to serve as our attacker. As I have Yuso here. Yuso, he has impre increased evasion while moving, okay, I guess. But more importantly, tight space. At just level one, that's 40% more damage when attacking indoors. That's something that's honest to goodness quite good. He doesn't have that many skills, only a two crown blade, not nearly as good as a three or a four crown. Let's take a look at the Twin Rings arts on Zeke as we've yet to see those. Rapid Twist is increased damage dealt to beasts, a pretty common enemy type. And again, I reiterate, Twin Rings on Zeke is exclusive to common blades. He can't have any rare blade with this. He has an HP potion art with a chance to spawn two, aerial creatures, and increased damage dealt from the back. That's a pretty good setup. A common theme that common blades have is easy to fulfill damage additives. How many times have I shown you a rare blade and said, well, they're really good in this one situation, like Percival, where if there's a lot of regular enemies and they're humanoids, he's really good. But that's not an easy to fulfill damage condition at all most of the time. Common blades don't have these issues more often than not. You can have indoor attack up, you can have outdoor attack up, you can have arts that have really easy to fulfill effects like that. They're good. Imagine something like this paired with ultimate combo, and that's something that can realistically happen. Chanjax can take quite a while. I've been trying to spare you that. Did you see that? Ah, Rex is out of his artwork now. I'll take the buns. He's gonna be using the true form quite often, so uh, we will have use for that because Lightspeed Flurry doesn't work on it. It's not like uh, desserts are entirely useless on Rex now or anything. I agree with you, Zeke. I'm gonna keep on running and see what I can do because in these side pathways, there's some treasure troves. One enemy is less than five. Two enemies is still less than five. Bridget. Before we open that, I have to know. The input prompt wasn't appearing. I can't wait to try it out on some fool. Ooh. Spirit Lexus at the World Tree. Those are found on the Skyport. I didn't have that noted. I can Ooh. go get that right now. And I shall. Off we go. You will find these enemies right by the landmark. They're flying quite far out and might need to be lured in or just waited around for them to fly over, but they'll do so soon enough. You can head them off pretty much in the same amount of time that it takes to run over here. Ooh, this place lit up at night. I'm glad we came back even if it was only for a moment. So what's really funny is that even though Indol has fallen, uh, all of these Indoline monks and all these creatures under Amalthus' command are all still out here. 
He just left him for dead on some airplane runway uh, in the middle of the sky. They're gonna have to like fish in the cloud sea from this high up to catch their dinner from now on. Top of arts work on him. Oh, come on, guys. You're really gonna launch a. You smashed him down. That was the greatest emotional roller coaster I have ever experienced. Wow. We even got a level up on Zeke for that. Wait. It landed on the tree below. <laughs> is it? Is it coming back? I think it's getting a little bit. Yes, it is. <laughs> wow, so much of my strategy. At least it worked once. Those projectiles took all that time to reach the bottom. There it goes. Uh, oh wow, uh, we actually have open space on the Great Axe that I equipped. Uh, that's the outdoor attack up skill that I talked about in addition to getting a free topple art on Zeke. Separate walks of life united on the same front. I'm starting to warm to this idea. I concur. I'll have to jot down this observation in my journal. Only starting? Didn't picture you guys to be the immature type. I can't thank you for guiding me to these lofty heights. Sublime, your efforts have borne many fruits. Sublime, I like it. Poppy honored to improve. I am really slacking on the monsters that we want to kill. Poppy Buster, or Poppy Buster, Poppy uh, QT wants oh. to defeat a blade bot at the World Tree. That should be fairly easy. Well, maybe she didn't have that special all the way up. We have beaten blade bots and she had zero out of four on there. So I probably just didn't have it unlocked yet. It's all just as well, because there's more that I want to show about the Skyport anyway out this way. And Pandoria wants to beat four Indoline Sentinels for her electric mastery. That is everything here. Kinda odd that I had Dromark noted, but not Cutie Pie. Morag has S4 with Bridget! You probably still don't match a 709 compared to what does Cutie Pie have? You're doing more damage than Judy Pie. That won't last. Believe me, it won't last. But we'll enjoy it while it does. It's the little things in life, like being stronger than God herself. Wait, what did Tora do there? Did they hit him with knockback while he was jumping or something? He just waved at. Him. Does this please Master Pod? Came all the way to the way outside to show these guys doing some impressive tricks. Where did you guys even jump from? A branch up above? Uh, color me impressed. There's a salvage point out here at the seventh perimeter skyport that you can't do on your first visit. You have to come back here because Amalthus just thinks he's gonna take that away from you. He's got a background in salvaging, so he knew how much it would hurt you. Very nice. A starlight pedestal and a memory device GB64. And Indoline Sentinels are found really close by the start at the landmark. There's some enemies around them, and there's a unique monster that hangs around up on top of that ledge, but besides that, it shouldn't be all that bad. They resist break a lot, which sucks. But if you can get through, it's good. I like your Poppy is blade, and yet more than blade. Oh, so that's what that's for. I'll enjoy using this. Oh yeah, didn't we have to save the world or something? We have another pathway on the north that we can go to. These enemies are really not giving us any trouble because we've leveled up just so much over the course of the world tree. Nice. Pick out another treasure chest and get a damage heal four. Ben, Poppy, you can grow agriculture up here. You really are overpowered. Yeah, black liver bean. Blades. Four common core crystals. Still don't believe me that common blades are really good? Let's look at their blade arts. They can have a blade art called Recharge Boost. This is reserved for only the best blades in the game. We're talking Mithra, Poppy QT, that kind of pedigree. They're the ones that have it, oh boy. Um. So, Garolf Sovereign. And a Mark VI Garolf. I'm pretty sure that these guys are gonna aggro if we don't deal with them first. Poppy and Thunderbolt Zeke have your back. Actually, are these one of those enemies that take a little while to? Don't give me the tutorial. Don't be a 
We're gonna lure him away and deal with these guys one at a time. Oh, that time it did it. Okay. So we gotta deal with this now. But that's all just as well, because I'm gonna show you one of the most fun ways to dispatch anything, really. As long as the enemy is susceptible to break, you're gonna be able to do this. So we're gonna start off by laying down a damage over time effect, preferably Volcano. Pandemic can also uh, be pretty good. And we're gonna use Taurus Speedy Sword to inflict break on it so that every single time that we do a driver combo anything, it's a fusion combo effect. By getting gold threads with Tora and having the overclocking bangle on, his recharge time on his blades is gonna be next to nothing. There I missed it by just a little bit, but it's fine. We're gonna get it a lot better here in a second. In fact, I'm gonna finish this off right now, just in time for Zeke to die. It's a good thing we stopped this, because these guys have an attack called Eject- Were Zeke leveled up when he was dead? <laughs> These guys have an art called Eject Rider that they do when they're low on health, which summons those motorcycle sovereigns. Yeah, those guys, the pilots are riding motorcycles while inside of a giant robot. <laughs> while controlling a giant. That is the most Power Rangers level of funnies I have ever heard. At least I assume it is. I wasn't allowed to watch Power Rangers growing up. I've never seen an episode even to this day. My parents said it was too violent, and by the time I was old enough to watch it, I didn't care anymore. Uh, because my friends weren't into it by then. It was such a lame show for me because it was not only like the show that I could never watch that all my friends were into, so I was always excluded from conversation, but then I found out when I grew up that it killed Sonic Sad I Am, and then I doubly didn't like it, so it's a franchise that I have a very awkward history with, we'll say. This is not going well, actually. Uh, it's kind of funny how often I'm finding myself in need of a dedicated healer after saying that it's really not that important. Give me- thank you, Rex. Thank you, Rex, for healing us for once. You do that very rarely. Is this thing really not that dead? Come on. Topple it, please. I really need that. Rex, where are you? Rex. I'll get another chance anyway. It's not a good thing. Keep toppling me by running me over with their tires. Don't they know I'm four feet tall and I can't take it? Go! Oh! No, I don't get the... This is not going well! I'm like, I'm gonna show you a really overpowered way to deal with enemies. Never goes my way, not even once. Target your attacks on this guy. Let's deal with it. Cutie pie, use your special. It's an elemental weakness. Just slaughter the damn thing, jeez. Can't take out a friggin' motorcycle, dude. Ironically, he's more powerful than the motorcycle bot. Okay, down here. Give me that. Go to cutie. Hi, then go to QT, vanilla, do the smash art there. That's what I was trying to do. All right, now we can deal with the big guns. Or big gun, he's only got one. Uh, where's my blade? What are you doing up there, cutie boy? Get out here! I need your golden thread. Thank God. Lay it down. Now let's do this really fun strat. So we lay down an earth right away. We're gonna wait for Rex to do a volcano. And now, we're gonna take the driver combo into our own, ha own hands. Tora has all four stages of it on one driver. Thanks to the golden threads and his overclocking bangle, he's already almost ready to go back over to QT, the Cutie Pie. We do launch, and every time we do this, we get a fusion combo bonus, and we can just keep doing driver combo after driver combo. I would recommend that you start winning fights this way. Not only is it super fun just to pull it off and really satisfying, but uh, Cutie Pie, let's just say, has a skill that's going to need you to do this a lot, and it's good to get a head start on it now before it becomes a problem later. Oh, you got the launch there. We have a lot of, I chose this party because we have a lot of driver combo access on both Rex and Zeke, and their AI will focus on it, so I can control Tora having the most control over it, and they can just kind of pitch in and help whenever they feel like it. There's the topple, here's another launch. You notice that his blade combo timer hasn't even gone down at all yet? That's how good this is. Rexian finishes off with Mega Eruption, so that he won't even get up right here. It just interrupts him with a blade combo finisher. Yeah, he got up in the middle of that instead of using an attack on us right away. There that is. I'll go for this. I can go for a Gaia Crash. Pandora's gonna get the launch. That'll extend that. 
Or maybe it won't. Uh, I can get over to this in time. Oh, barely don't, of course. It's fine. The thing is, is that even if you mess it up very slightly, it's not really that hard to get back into the rhythm of things. You're so likely to pull it off, the enemy's gonna so rarely do anything to hurt you. Leave it to me. Blade combo, third stage. If you're a Xenoblade 1 fan, this is probably your favorite way to deal with enemies. Very reminiscent of the combat in that game. It's low on health, let's do anything, but let's do something before it gets back up. Puppy Cutie, go! I didn't activate the true form. <laughs> Yeah, I was trying to go easy on him. Uh, Wolfric, you can guarantee smash that orb. And then Harold, you with your level one. I was doing this with a common blade so that I could have a launch art. I know I got Zenobia, but I don't want to go over her. I don't want to like use her in the party too much before we actually go over. And besides, her skills are all level one. So I think I am pretty. I think I am better off using a common blade with at least a few leveled up skills and a little bit of trust. Neo wants to use your level 2 special for a skill, don't forget it! Pandoria! I get to do even more. Final retribution. Magnificent. Level 70 for Tora, over 3 million damage! Tora's so grateful! That is because Master Pond treats Poppy so well. And you know, there were some core crystals on those guys. Had you going, didn't I? <laughs> I can't make a big deal out of it every time it is going to be one, otherwise there'd be no tension in the moment where you'd go like, oh my god, is he gonna do it? Now you don't know! I really would give a few seconds of screen time to a useless blade to fake you out. We make it to the next elevator, and up we go. Something tells me that strat ain't gonna work so well on the fights that we have coming up. It would probably be in our best interest to uh, to shift around the party a little bit and kind of make it more self-sufficient and not focused on infinitely stunlocking an enemy. I'm not stalling for time, I just can't open the menu on an elevator. Roll for initiative. Tora, you're out of the party. We're gonna have Zeke, Rex, and Morag around. Zeke's been dying an awful lot. I've had him outfitted for all damage, and I think, just to kind of lessen the need for dedicated healing, I'll give him the Avant Guard Medal. This is the party that I've chosen to go with. I tried to include pretty much anybody of importance or just blades that I like a lot. Ursula seems like a strange pick. I swear she has good reason. We've met a lot of friends on our journey. Let's just show them how many. What do you see? What do I see? I see a bunch of people struggling to stay alive. Same as almost everyone else on Allrest right now. Zeke, have you ever taken a person's life? Can't say I have. Never seen the need for it myself. Oh? Why does anyone kill others? Because they're in your way, or because you can't bear the sight of them. You kill because you're weak. But I'm not weak, so I don't need to kill anyone. And I don't mean physically, yeah? I mean in here. I suppose that makes me weak then. But that weakness is why I'm standing here today. So you hate them, humans? No, I hate this world.
Chum. Huh? Do you like this world? Uh, what? Just give me a straight answer. Yeah. Sure, there's plenty of room for improvement, but then there's also plenty of stuff that's awesome. What about us? Huh? Oh, I think Shalad's about to propose. What? Fleabag! I mean, how do you feel about us, people? Whew, I was worried then. You should be so lucky. Anyway, what's your answer? Ooh, that's a tough one. People can be fun to be around, but sometimes they're hard to deal with. And then there's mean types, like that banner. For sure. But life's about taking the good with the bad, right? So yeah, I like people. And I like myself, and I'm people. All right, Big Ed. <laughs> I see. Well, that's you all over. I'm relieved. What? Well, hmm? suppose a guy who hated himself had the power that you do. If someone like that were to meet the architect, I wouldn't be surprised if they wished for the whole world to disappear. Zeke's creed about killing. I'm not weak, so I don't need to kill, and I don't mean physically, I mean in here. It's something that sticks with me, his whole opinion about self-loathing. I'm kind of sad people only remember Zeke as a funny man, and not for things like that. A new locale. Oh, he's funny, but he also has it where it counts. We end on Megrez, the star that connects the handle of the Big Dipper to the bowl, and it is the final level of the World Tree. What's up, Jin? So this is where it ends. Huh? You say something? No. I'll stay here. You go fulfill our goal. What are you saying? We promised we'd go together, didn't we? We did, once. You okay? I'm just waiting. For the boy? I was told to wait. I'll be watching. All of you. Are you sure? I am. wouldn't happen to be Ornelia's former blade, would you? Ornelia? No, I'm... From the Territorial Defense Corps! It's you! What? Oh, I remember him well, even though I was knee-high to a grasshopper back then. With that sword slung across your back, you were so cool! If you hadn't come when you did, our village would have been... Oh, yes! The house you used to live in is still out there on the outskirts. House?
This long war for independence will soon come to an end. It is not only the war that will soon be over. Her life, too, is about to end. And when she meets her end, so too will I. Unsullied by her death, I will merely return to my core to await my eventual reawakening. I will sleep as at the end of any other day. When I awake, will I be the same person as before? If the architect does indeed exist, I wish I could ask him, who am I truly? Whence did I come? Whither am I headed? If I were a praying man, I pray this journal finds its way to you. Trusting that it will, I will use these last words to pass down a means of carving the bond between myself and my partner into this flesh. This is how it is done. <sighs> my, how terribly desolate. I heard it's been 90 years, but... What is it? Did you remember something? No. It's nothing. Really? That's too bad. I would have liked to have learnt about the old you. I am... who I am. I do not change. You came. Jin. Are you alone? Where's Malos? He went ahead. Well then, what are you doing here? Waiting for you. For us? Are you trying to stop us going after Malos? Perhaps. I want to see for myself. If this world has any will of its own, which one would it choose? You or Malos? Then you should let us pass. That I cannot do. But why? In your state, you should barely be able to stand. You know, if we fight now, you'll... You see right through me, Mithra. But I made a promise. I'll do whatever it takes to fulfill this desire. Even if it means your death? Gladly. Jin. Looks like we won't get past without a fight. Chum? Seems so. We'll give it all we've got. Come on! As it should be. Come at me, boy! Put your best foot forward. Right? Right? Keep it up. Mind right. you don't fall out. Uh. In I go! Top of them! Uh. Empty moment. Ouch. Just in time. Ultra Jin is who he is. He does not change. Exact same fight as before, no change in his moveset or anything, he's just several levels higher. Oh, there's the smash! We barely got to see what he was capable of before because the fight in the Cliffs of Morathos is over so quickly. So now we're getting to a full taste of what he is. 
We'll go for the level three here with Supernova. Our strategy here, we got two in one party. Our first one is that Pandoria is made quite a lot better with Pirate and Mithra's true form. Remember how I said that she is really good if you have, uh, if you can get those critical hits, but her critical chance is just so low that it's not gonna work? Well, with 100% critical hit rate, that's, wouldn't you say, a little more likely to happen? Yeah. I put avant-garde medals in everyone so I wouldn't have to worry about healing as much. Uh, well, that's awkward. So much for the avant-garde medal, Zeke. As soon as I'm bringing it up, that's when you choose to go down. Okay. At this rate, we're not going to be able to use Pandora's good thing that I wanted to do, but all right. Nia, you come out. Let's beat up your old boss. I really wanted you to be involved in this fight just a little bit. We can get some healing in while we're at it. Awesome. Gah! not quite as good of a match for Jin as it was for Malos, but it'll do. He's nullifying healing. This is bad. At least I don't have this. I can do this while he's doing stun swallow. I need to move and not auto attack him while he's doing this skyward slash. This is actually really bad. Wow. Uh, I knew Jin was tough, but yikes. Go for the level one, please. Empty moment. Heal up, heal up, heal up, come on. We only have a little bit more to go. We only have a little more to go. Not much more. Heal up, Nia. Redemption. No! That's all you got. Put yourself together. It's fine, we'll get them yet. Okay, try to time, to take time to take you down. We'll try this again. This is an example of why evasion is so good. As soon as I switched off of Mithra, things went a lot harder for us. I thought I wanted the healing. Not always the best choice. It really can be in your best interest to not do that. We're getting a launch right away with this. That's a lot better of a starting combo that we're doing. I don't believe that I have a smash art on anybody. We only have break top and launch. Oh, no, uh, wow, uh, theory, right. Thanks for that, Morag. Just showing me up right in front of my arch rival. That's fine. There we go. Supernova. Probably should be interrupting some arts that I don't want to see with this, but it's fine. We're gonna get back up to a level three pretty quickly. Wow. Uh, true form. It's actually kind of comical how much smoother this is going this time around. Pyra. Gotcha. Uh, uh. It's up to you, Morag. This is sad. <laughs> it just shows sometimes it doesn't really go in your favor, even though you're pretty well equipped for it. It happens to the best of us. Harold? Empyrean Salvo. Ah, uh. Elemental Burst. And another one. Magnificent. Ah, uh, Nia's not gonna get to beat up her own boss in this timeline. Gotcha. Poor Nia can't even do this right. It's up to you, Morag. As planned. <laughs> Magnificent. Coming for you. Zeke, aim true. Pandora. <laughs> Pandoria, let's see some of that damage. That was over 100,000 damage a hit with that guaranteed crit chance. Ooh. You still got it. But so do we. <gasps> oh no, you don't. The power to manifest what you imagine. Truly awesome. That power comes from the Architect. Why do you wield it for mortal's sake? To get to Elysium! And then what? Open it up to humans? Share it out between them? Do you even need to ask? Obviously! And then what? Can't you see where that leads? What are you saying? Humans will make Elysium into another Mortha. Just as they did with Torna 500 years ago. I won't let that happen! And after you die, what then? Who will stop the inevitable? Isn't that... Isn't that the reason that you blades exist? What? And 
when I'm not around to stand by you in that effort. Someone else will! That's right. When a person dies, that's it for them. But their thoughts and memories will always be passed on to someone else. Isn't that the same with you, Blades? Your past selves get passed down to someone else to become your new selves? Isn't that how you've always lived? We're no different. From now on, I'll protect you. I'll keep you safe, always. Blades become titans when the time is up, and those titans give birth to many new blades, all while forming the world beneath our feet. It's awesome. It's enough to make me envious. Envious? Of us? So I'd like to ask the architect, Pyra, Mithra, all of you, why did he create all these incredible people? Actually, I think I might already know the answer. But I'd still like to check with the man himself. To check your answer? Yeah. You... believe you know the reason we exist? <laughs> Jin! Akos, Petruka. Petroka. I won't let you kill Jen. Stand down, Petroka. But... It is over for us now. There is nothing more. We've done all that we have to. Jen. Nia. Me? Your power. Can you use it on Jin? Well, sure. It'll only be a temporary measure, but... Don't expect any thanks. <sighs> we'll go back first and prep Jin for treatment. Akos, make yourself useful. Yeah, yeah, I got him! <laughs> Droka! You will climb no further. What? Amalthus? Here? And why does he look like that? If the Architect did send Blades down to this world, it was for my sake. To find and raise cores containing more powerful, wondrous, unparalleled data. That is why I created the cleansing procedure. Behold the culmination of my work! You lunatic. He took the cores from all those blades. So that was the reason for the cleansing. I am an agent of the Architect's will. What is he saying? Delusions of grandeur. You can't just decide stuff like that, dude. You're out of your damn mind. It is no delusion. Have you forgotten the Aegis's power? That power. Is it not the Aegis's power to erase worthless things from existence? Is that not the Architect's very will? Pyra and Mithra aren't like that. I just realized. I know why Malos is so intent on scouring the world. It's you, Amalthus. Malos has become tainted by your influence. 
So what if he has? What's the problem? You've had your little trip around all rest. You've witnessed the state of Moritha. Mankind will never change, no matter how many millennia pass. You're the one who won't change. That's exactly why you hate those who try to. And why should I have to change? If I change, I lose everything. I lose my very self. Who in their right mind would accept such a fate? That's why. You're weak, old man. The weakest of us all. You wanna kill us, huh? You're not human, flesh eaters. We were on our way to be transferred to Indol. My sister and I, from Tantal. Sister? Here. The boy on the left, that was my driver. The right is Petroka's. Petroka. Is that her name? Yes. I'm Akos. Our drivers were brother and sister. That's why. We're siblings too, you're saying? What a dumb notion. They're them, and we're us. No relation whatsoever. Even so, these bodies contain the lives of two humans. We are connected. I don't get why you bother. Are you happy? <laughs> I'm asking if it makes you happy clinging to things like that. That I don't know. But it's better than having nothing. It's important to me. And that gives me a reason to go on. To live for. Monster! How dare you! How dare you look down on me! You a mere blade whose very existence depends upon ours! Rex! He's got our cops! I'm on it! Not on my watch! This is a strange situation. Fighting so hard to save a member of Torna. Indeed, but it seems like the right thing to do. His aim is clear, and so is ours. Thanks. Friend, welcome. Poppy, now not time for kind manners. I believe in returning favors. You owe me for that one. Much thanks. Uh, how? 
Who do you people think you are? Whoa! Incorrigible welts. Why would humans side with blades? Is he slow? He thinks it's a side to pick? We share a bond, you numbskull. We're all friends here. We're in this thing together. Bonds? A friendship? With these trinkets? Of course. That was surprisingly painful. If I were still a blade, this wouldn't... Join me. Huh? My name is Jin. I am just like you. Stay right there. He's human. So we should be the ones to kick his ass. I have a heart. No less human. Then you better take good care of it. That's why you came here. Right? Rex. We're gonna break the 500 year long curse right here. Yeah. Let's do it. Instantly. It is hilarious, but it's very difficult to pull off, and you're probably not gonna do it. It requires his position being just right, your position being just right, and getting through the low chance of even getting off blowdown at all. It ain't easy. So it's probably not going to be what we do, but I at least wanted to equip Ursula so that we could try it. Domination is his command over the blades, shackles all blades in a circle around him. Luckily, we got through our combo finisher just before he was able to do it. We saw Divine Robes. He can change his element to whatever he wants. He possesses the power of all the blades he has killed. Sacred Arrow! Looks kind of familiar, doesn't it? It's Mithra's level four special. When he took control of her power, he kept that. Thankfully, he didn't get the memo that you're not supposed to use it indoors. Nia, we need you to heal now. Do this while he's doing Divine Robes. Take advantage of that downtime. He has perfect guard during Divine Robes, so it doesn't matter what you do against him. It's just going to plink off him. You're not going to be able to combo. Might as well make good use of that time. We've just done a party heal. And water, water, water sounds like a nice combo. God Rage is Force Launch, and even if it's somehow resisted, he's invincible during it. There's that Enraged. Saber Slash is such a cool art to use. I love that so much, just doing that three-hit combo. There's Redemption. You know what? I think I know what I want to do. We need to get our gold thread going with Mithra. There it is. His blade affinity down, I think, affected us. Okay. Shackle Blade, because of course. Pawn and some HP potions while we got it. He seems perfectly immune to break, and we're not going to be able to get that off. 
Thousand Tentacles, an AoE attack that hits for a lot of damage. When I got to this fight for the first time, he was, uh, that killed me every single time unless I evaded it. It was really annoying. Just know that he's no pushover. What? I'm fighting that way. Yeah, Morag. Don't be surprised. Is this ever going to wear off? I didn't get equipment for this because I thought, hey, it'll just wear off in time. Yeah, it's causing Blade Affinity down to the point where I can't true form. Morag, go for heat. Take that. We have a dark orb, so we could do a light orb by going fire, fire, and then light. Like right now. We're a little vulnerable without our evasion right now, but it's okay. Come on, Mithra. We're ready to do our nuclear blast. Reincarnation! He just recovered a ton of health, undoing a lot of our work. Here comes the nuclear blast! No, here comes the nuclear blast! He just loves making a liar out of me! He pummels you into the dirt! Oh, we got it! 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 We got it. Go, 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 go! Come on! Beat him down! There it is! Full driver combo! True form! You first! <laughs> Theory! I may shirk the future with these two slabs. Magnificent. Zeke, aim true. Yeah. Come on out, Vale. Blood altar. Of all blades, it's Vale that gets the blow on a Malthus. Hit it, no. Back out, Pyra. Radiant slam. Elemental burst. It's up to you, Morag. As planned. All energy to chain attack system. Magnificent. Seek, aim true. Here. Pandora. Yeah. Magnificent. And another one. Magnificent. Go for it. Genesis Saber. Magnificent. Uh. It's up to you, Morag. As I'll fine. draw them away. Magnificent. Zeke, aim true. Yeah! I will do my utmost. Final retribution. Magnificent. Yeah. Some of the best damage we've done yet. I cannot end like this. Not until I've met the architect. Not until I've erased everything with my own hands! What? This is bad. The World Tree cannot take it. that bastard still standing after the incredible thrashing we gave him we must stop him uh. what jim ah! Ah! Uh. pyra rex mithra you don't don't get me wrong okay i couldn't let him get your core too that's all with it, he'd be unstoppable. Thank you. All the cores, all the architect's words belong to me! Ugh! Nia, take care of them both. I... I will. Jin, why didn't you kill me when I joined Rex and the others? It wasn't a mistake, was it? Becoming the blade of someone you trust. Jin. I did that too, once. Rex, you have to stop Malus. He's still searching for his own identity. 
tell him the answer you found. Jin. You should have died with Torna. Let's end this now. Our duty has been handed down. Amalthus! Your duty is as dust in the wind compared to my destiny. Chosen one! I lived as you wanted me to! I did! I always! Bandits? Probably. After all, Pandoria looks pretty damn human for a blade. She'd be worth a lot to some people. They sell them. Line up the cords with pretty pictures of the blade inside. It's the same as it ever was. What? As soon as people are denied something they desire, they try to take it by force. Not everyone's like that. Oh, some give up prematurely. But the feeling is there, I assure you. Well, in that case, why bother protecting them? Why not let people do whatever? To remind myself, I must never forget what kind of beings humans are. Is that what helping me was, too? <laughs> a long time ago, I seem to recall seeing a very similar scene. Hmm? Perhaps... That, too, was one face of humanity. Why did you look so sad back then? That was you, too, wasn't it? Father, why do you not answer when I call? What a splendid soul you were, Jin. Jin. Stench. They let beggars roam free in this town. You. You're a blade, aren't you? Where's your driver? Dead drunk in a ditch? No, somehow I don't think that's it.
the name's Malos. I'm the same as you. 